Hi everyone, my name is Michelle and I'll be taking you through some stretches today for the upper body. We're going to start by mobilising the spine. From there we're going to stretch out the chest, the pec muscles. From there we'll move on to stretching the forearms and the back of your arms as well. From there we'll move into some oblique stretches for you. Hope you enjoy. Alrighty, so to mobilise the spine, we are leaning up against the wall. You've got a good 30 centimetres between your heels and the wall. Your head, your shoulders, your ribs and hips are up against the wall. You want to feel like you're kind of sitting on a little bar stool. So the knees are bent, shoulders melt. We're going to take this in increments. Big breath in, you want to feel the lungs. And as you breathe out, just drop the chin to the chest. Shoulders, back stays in the same spot up against the wall. Breath in and a breath out. Roll, restack. Lengthen the crown to the ceiling. Same, same. A little different. Chin to chest as you breathe out. Head rolls forward and this time the shoulders stoop forward a little. There's a breath in, nothing else moves. And a breath out, re-stack, pull the shoulders back, roll the head back in contact with the wall. Breath in again. Let's go a little deeper, chin to chest, head rolls forward, shoulders stoop forward, shoulder blades peel away from the wall. Ribs stay on the wall though for me. Breath in and a breath out, roll and re-stack. We go again. Each time we go a little lower down, just exploring, yeah? Chin to chest, navel pulls in, shoulders stoop forward, shoulder blades pull off the wall, ribs just start to pull off the wall. Another breath in here, breath out, ribs connect, shoulder blades reach back, shoulders open up, head restack. We go a little deeper, chin to chest, head rolls forward, shoulders stoop forward, shoulder blades peel away from the wall as do the ribs, Rolling to the top of the hips. So fingers come down to the knees. There's a breath in and a breath out. Let's roll and restack. Breath in, breath out, chin to chest, navel pulls in. Head, shoulders, shoulder blades, ribs, roll it down as far as feels comfortable. Arms dangle, head hangs, bottom is still on the wall. Breath in, down here. Breath out, press through the feet. Find a little contraction from the calves, hamstrings, glutes and tummy. Rolling through the lower back, middle back, upper back and the head. Two more, chin to chest, navel pulls in, articulating, articulating and mobilizing the spine. Breath in at the bottom. Breath out, press through the feet, scoop the tummy, roll all the way back up. We sit tall. Last one here for me guys, chin to chest, navel pulls in, roll and articulate down. Breath in at the bottom and a breath out, roll through the sacrum, through the lower back, middle back, upper back, shoulders come back and head restacks. So a nice way to mobilise the spine, particularly if you've been in one position for an extended period of time, yeah? Aim for about five to eight roll downs and slowly, first probably three or four, just take it in increments like we just did, but you might aim for eight in total where you roll all the way down and up and sequentially finding that mobilisation and that articulation through the spine. Stretching out the chest now for me guys, a doorway, a um, window cavity or just a wall will suffice as well. Hand is on the wall. We're going to start with the hand nice and low to make sure that we don't pinch anything in the shoulders or in the neck and then we'll progressively bring the arm a little higher. So the arm is down low, level with the hips. You're going to place that hand on the wall. So I've got my left hand on the wall. I want you to lengthen out the lower back, just a little pelvic tilt help support that lower back, and then just turn the body to the right. So the body's turning away from the hand on the wall or in your doorway. Head looks over to the right shoulder as you pull away from that left hand. So finding a stretch from that left side through the chest for me, yeah? 
Two more breaths here. One more breath here. And if you can, can you turn just a little more? So turning just a little bit, could be millimeters more, but looking for a stretch from the pec muscle here on the left. You might get a little through the bicep muscle as well, through the top of the arm. Let's hold it for another three. Hold it for two. Last breath in, last breath out, and relax. A slow release for me, guys. Still doing the left hand. So we had the left hand nice and low to begin with. The second position, you're gonna bend the elbow. That arm is gonna be parallel to the floor. You just wanna watch that the shoulder, that left shoulder doesn't shrug up to the ear. Keep that left shoulder melting into the back pocket. You're gonna put the elbow and the hand on the wall. So the hand's pretty much level with the head. And again, a little pelvic tilt to support that lower back and turn to look over the right shoulder. Feet are wherever feel comfortable. So play around with where your feet wanna be to find that stretch. So we hold it here again for three. Hold it here for two. Big breath in, big breath out. Don't change where you are. Just try and rotate a little more, millimeters more, yeah? Just to get a little more stretch through the front of the chest. And again, let's hold for three. Let's hold for two. One more breath in, one more breath out, and a slow release. So slowly reverse the direction that you went into that stretch. So walk yourself out of it, yeah? Don't sort of force the issue. Try not to get that muscle to contract, the one that you've just stretched, because you might not be ready to support the movement, and then you might cause issue or harm elsewhere. So if the lower hand felt nice, if the arm parallel to the floor felt nice, no issues through the shoulders, we're gonna try with the arm up nice and high. The higher you are, the more chance that shoulder's gonna shrug, so you always want to feel like you've got dangly earrings, I always say. You want to keep the earlobes away from the shoulders, yeah? So the arm is high, but you don't want to feel compressed through that shoulder section. So place the hand up high onto the wall. Draw the tummy in, find that little pelvic tilt. Again, play around with where the legs need to be and just rotating to look over the right shoulder. So in each position, if your shoulders are healthy, you will get a slightly different angle to the stretch, therefore stretching more of the pec muscle, which is nice. We get really tight through the pecs, through the chest muscle, because we tend to slouch a little at our desk. Posture always might start off really well, but normally ends up at the window by the end of your shift or the end of your work day. Let's hold here for three. Hold here for two. Big breath in and out and relax a slow release just walk it out of it a little circle on the spot and then here we've got shoulder rolls just for the left side for three for two last one reverse your shoulder rolls for me please come up and around for three for two and one Lovely work for me, guys. Gonna do the same on the right. So starting with the right hand down nice and low. I always like to spread the fingers out because I tend, as soon as I shrug or shrug, as soon as I sort of go to grip something, I tend to get a bit shruggy through the shoulders. So long fingers, open hand, palm is nice and low. So again, find that spot on the wall, find that little pelvic tilt to make sure that back is supported. And we turn now to look over the left shoulder. Big breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. So not forcing the issue, not forcing the stretch. But we're looking, say, for a four or five out of 10 in intensity. You don't wanna feel like it's so super intense, the stretch that you can barely hold it, because then the muscles will bounce back too quickly and you won't get the benefit of the stretch. Last three breaths here. Last two. Big breath in and a big breath out and a slow release. Again, just a slow rotation. Let the arm just settle, give it a minute. Again, if it felt nice for the shoulder, if there was no issue and if there's no impingement through the shoulder, 
Then we're going to bring the arm to being parallel to the floor. Hand is open, the arm's parallel to the floor. Find your spot on the wall with your hand, yeah? Hand and elbow are on the floor here. Play around with the feet wherever they feel comfortable. Find that little pelvic tilt because you don't want to go into that duck bum position, guys. You want to keep the lower back supported, yeah? Breath in and out. Just breathe as you turn to look over the left shoulder. And each breath out, can you just melt a little deeper into the stretch? So you're not forcing, you're not pushing anything past its limits. You're just moving with the breath out. The breath out, the longer he can be and the slower he can be, the more you might get in the way of a stretch. So it doesn't matter how far back you turn, it's just what the body allows. Again, we're holding here for three. Hold it here for two. Big breath in and out and slowly bring it back, slowly relax. Take it out, give the fingers a little wriggle. So we're not looking for any sharp pain, no discomfort at all. If there's a tingle through the arm, know that you don't wanna go any higher than that. And tingle from the shoulder down the bicep normally means there's something being impinged, yeah? And that's not what we wanna encourage. But if it felt nice, the lower hand and the arm parallel to the floor, we're gonna take the arm up nice and high. So hand is up high, plant the hand into your wall, into your door frame, wherever you are, a little pelvic tilt, and we rotate away from that hand, looking over the left shoulder to get the stretch through the pec. Now, if you've gone all three steps, low, medium, and high, you might find the angle of that stretch has changed and you might find the left side to the right side different as well. It'll just depend on how tight you are in which part of the muscle, yeah? Hold it here for three. Hold it here for two. Big breath in and out and a slow release. Lovely. Turning around again on the spot. Can you go three shoulder rolls for three? We have got two. Last one, reverse your shoulders for three. So that's opened up through the chest, yeah? Because at the desk, as much as you might start here, we end up like old mother Hubbard leaning forward. So you wanna make sure that we keep the chest muscles, the pec muscles open and relaxed. Therefore, the upper back muscles will tend to work a little easier for us and help keep our posture up nice and tall. So we've stretched the chest, we've mobilized the spine, we're gonna stretch out the forearms for me now. Again, because you're on the computers or you're using the mouse or you're writing notes, whatever the case is, we tend to stress out the um, wrist extensors and flexors. So we're gonna start with the back of the hand. Palm faces the ceiling, fingers are long and open for me guys, yeah? You wanna watch again that the shoulders don't shrug, you can go both hands together or just one arm at a time. I'm gonna start both arms together, then I'm gonna pull one arm away and we'll obviously finish with the other side. So fingers are open, shoulders are relaxed. You wanna bring the hands so they're pretty much parallel to the floor, but you don't wanna feel like you're shrugging. So if the arms need to be a little lower, that's okay, yeah? Turn around, face your wall. Fingers point straight down to the floor for me, guys. So one side's normally a little tighter than the other. So pick which hand you wanna keep on the wall. I'm gonna keep my right hand on the wall. The fingers are spread out wide and if you need to help those fingers, feel free just to adjust them so they're not bunched up. The heel of the hand is definitely pressing into the wall as are the fingers. Adjust the legs so you feel comfortable. Draw the tummy in to support the spine don't let the heel of the hand lift away from the wall and just bend the knees to lower you down so your shoulder is lower than your wrist. So here you should find the stretch through the front of the arm or through the back of the arm here. The wrist flexes, yeah? So now we're not gonna go anywhere. All I want you to do is press the heel of the hand into the wall and all five fingers into the wall. It's like you wanna push that wall away with that right hand. So you're not pushing from the shoulder, you're just pushing from your fingers and the heel of the hand. Last 
three breaths here. Last two, keep pushing those fingers and heel into the floor, sorry, into the wall. One more breath in and out for me guys. Keep everything where it is, but can you sink a little deeper into that stretch? So just lowering a little bit more, looking just for the stretch through the heel of the hand, through the wrist, up that arm. Might go all the way to the elbow, it might just stay close to the wrist. Hold it here for three, hold it here for two. Last one, a little adjustment. I'm just gonna change my legs so they're parallel as opposed to one leg further forward than the other. I just feel more balanced here for this move like this, but you can keep your legs one leg forward and back, your choice. Draw the tummy in, make sure you don't go into that duck bum position, the tail is long. I want you to lean a little bit over to the thumb so you should find a stretch move over to the outside of the hand. And then just come down a little squat to go into the pointer finger. Come across to go to the middle finger. Come across to go to that ring finger. Over to the baby finger. Heel of the hand is still heavy on the mat. Let's go from the little finger to the ring finger. Pointer. Sorry, middle, pointer thumb and up tall for me guys. What I want you to do is slowly peel the hand away, just guide it back down, a little wriggle with the fingers, yeah? So hopefully felt the stretch through the front of the arm or through the back of the arm, I should say. I'm gonna do the same with the left hand. So I like to actually go left and right here only for the fact that one side's always gonna be a little tighter than the other. So if you go both together, the tighter one might not get as nice a stretch, yeah? because we tend to make it a little easier for ourselves. So fingers are spread out, fingers point down, palm faces this, the wall, plant the hand into the wall, yeah? So again, spread out those fingers. Heel of the hand is down. So I'm just gonna actually, I might turn this way, we might see here. Heel of the hand is down. So for me, because my left hand is my tighter side, the left side in general for me is my tighter side. So here the hand is actually a little lower than the right hand was, just because that's what I can tolerate. Legs are whatever feel comfortable, find that little pelvic tilt to help support the lower back. Make sure the heel of the hand presses into the wall and just bend the knees to get a little more stretch through that forearm. Beautiful work. Let's hold it for three. Let's hold it for two. Big breath in and a big breath out. And nothing moves, nothing changes. The only difference is you want to press the hand into the wall so you're not pressing from the shoulder. All five fingers and the heels of the hand want to feel like they could press the wall away. And we hold here for three. Hold here for two. Keep pressing that hand into the wall. And on the next breath out, can you relax the press, but just sink a little deeper into that stretch. Again, we hold for three. We hold for two. Big breath in, big breath out. Keep the hand on the wall. I'm just gonna change where my feet are because I feel more balanced again. You don't wanna go in the duck bum position lengthen out through the tail. Let's lean across to the thumb. Should find a stretch coming through the outside of the hand. Come down to the pointer finger, don't let the heel lift. We go middle finger, you go ring finger. Baby finger, let's reverse it from the baby finger to the ring finger. Leaning straight to that pointer, sorry to the middle. Now across to the pointer, over to the thumb and then guide the hand back away from the wall. Again, a little wriggle for those fingers. So we've stretched out the front or the back of the arms, your wrist flexors. Now we're gonna stretch out the wrist extensors, yeah? So right hand is in front, fingers point down like you wanna show someone your manicure. Left hand is gonna cup the right. Again, you wanna think about that right shoulder, he doesn't wanna shrug up to the ear, you wanna keep it melting down. And if I go side on, 
Just watch, it's just a little press of that hand towards you. Legs wherever are comfy. You could do this sitting in a chair as well. So bringing the fingers closer to the body to find the stretch through the top of the arm here. Keeping the shoulder melting into your back pocket. Don't let it shrug up to the ear, but let the little finger, let the fingers kick out to the right. So the fingers are rotating right. Hold it there. Think about the forearm. You want the forearm to rotate left. And you want the right shoulder to push back to the right. So again, the fingers and the shoulder roll to the right as the arm rotate left. You should find the stretch through the arm. Still cupping that right hand with the left. Can you press the fingers of the right hand into the left and hold for three? It intensifies what you feel. For two, keep pressing the right hand into the left and as you relax, a little more rotation, a little more press to get a little more stretch. Again, watching that right shoulder doesn't pull up to your ears. Holding for three, holding for two, last breath in and out, just relax, give those fingers a little wriggle, hopefully felt that stretch. So now we're gonna do the same on the left. Show someone your manicure, cup the right hand around the left, pull the fingers of that left hand towards you. Now again, that might be enough to feel the stretch, that might be all you need. But looking for a stretch through the top of the arm, yeah? When you're ready, keep that left shoulder, see my doggy side, keep the left shoulder melting away from your ears. Don't let it shrug up. But could you rotate the fingers to the left? So the fingers are rotating left and you want the forearm to rotate right. You want that left shoulder to stay open and pushing left. So fingers and shoulders go left, forearm comes right. Still cupping that left hand, yeah? Sometimes nice if you've got a workmate or someone who's close by who could help. They could just keep that shoulder open and just rotate the hand for you. That sometimes is nice. But if you can, pressing the left hand into the right, keep pressing for three. Press the left hand into the right for two. Last breath in. And as you breathe out, just bring the fingers a little closer to you as you rotate the fingers out to the left a little more. And let's hold, holding for three. Three's a good number. For two, last breath in, last breath out, and relax. So holding for three breaths takes us to about 10, 15 seconds. We are aiming, hopefully, if you're super tight, aim for a good minute for the stretch, aim for 10 to 15 breaths. The longer you hold the stretch, the more you might benefit from it. Just be mindful that too much more isn't necessarily good for you either. We need a nice balance. So if you aim for a minute of nice stretching in a particular body part, and then move on to another body part, that's the ideal scenario, yeah? But just take it to as far as you can tolerate. So again, we've mobilized the spine, we've opened up through the pecs, we've stretched out the forearms, let's give our obliques a little stretch. So here I like to take the legs out wide and I like to plant both feet into the mat. Toes don't point forward, there is a little rotation out. So a little external rotation, you might even get a little glute contraction and that's okay. So if I go side on, we don't want to be in that duck bun position, remember? You want to lengthen the tail to the back of the knees. You want to zip up your skinny jeans, yeah? Legs are as wide as feels comfortable, but knees are definitely soft and there's just a little pelvic tilt. Shoulders melt, arms relax by your side. Equal pressure through both feet. We're going to lift the left arm straight up to the ceiling and you're going to hold that left arm as close to the left ear as feels comfortable for you. So if this feels nice, by all means keep it there. If you're able to keep the ear and the arm in contact to each other, that's lovely as well. Shoulders melt. Try not to go a little shruggy through that left side though, yeah? So big breath in, fill the lungs. Breath out, melt the shoulders into your back pocket. And breath in again, reach that left arm along to the ceiling. 
and as you breathe out, leaning over to the right, you float the right arm up. Breath in and a breath out. You bring it back. A little hard to talk there. But again, breath in, fill the lungs, reach the arm long. And as you breathe out, reaching over to the right as the right arm lifts. Breath in and a breath out, you bring it back. We go one more here, breath in, you lengthen, you float, and a breath out, reach up and over. Could you hold it here for three? Hold it here for two. And one. And bring it back. Bring the arm down and relax. So for this particular stretch, less is always more. Three to five breaths is all you need here particularly when you're holding that side bend position, only for the fact that um, too much here will release those muscles too much and then they won't support you on the way back. Alrighty, standing up tall, same on the other side. Lengthen the right arm long, melt the shoulders into your back pocket. Up tall, a little tuck of the tail, zip up your skinny jeans, breath in, reach the right arm up to the ceiling, and as you breathe out, float the left arm up as you lean to the left. Breath in and a breath out, bring it all the way back to the staff position. Shoulders melt, navel pull in, reach a little taller to the ceiling. That was a breath in and a breath out, reaching up and over. Equal pressure, all 10 toes. And a breath out, bring it back. So you don't wanna to lean too much to the left leg because it releases the pressure from the stretch on that right side. Last time here, lengthen up to the ceiling, shoulder melts, that was a breath in, and a breath out, reaching the left arm over, and we hold here for three, for two, last breath in, and out, and we bring it back up for me guys, relax the arm down, just some shoulder rolls for me guys. So we've stretched your obliques, stretched out the forearms, your chest, mobilized the spine. Nice little stretch routine just to move the body. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. We'll see you all next time. Bye for now.